Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your Leo Plus Pisces love reading for the month of November 2022. We are getting feelings, actions, outcome, and ending oracle for my Leos who are connecting, curious, and or interested in a Pisces. Please assign the roles as you wish. I have Leo over here and Pisces on this side for some of you. The reading can resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. Please take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. So let's get started and into it. Please show me Leo's feelings for Pisces and what are Pisces feelings for Leo. All right, let's see what's coming through for the two of you. Leo, your feelings are the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Pisces feelings for you are the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Four of Cups. Ooh. Okay. We'll start off with you, Leo. We have the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Pentacles. You look a bit withdrawn from this person in an interesting way. Because it looks like you want to feel seen and heard by this person and appreciated. Um, but there is this withdrawal energy where you don't really want to do too much to get that from them. Could be on a level of friendship here. Or it could be a reconciliation-like energy. Or if you are in a relationship with a Pisces, it could be there is a bit of questionable energy. They have the Nine of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Four of Cups. So this Pisces has an extremely strong wall up. Like, they got, like, brick after brick after brick after brick. I feel like this energy is pretty avoidant on love. Um, they look very much in an avoidant like energy. You may even feel ignored by them or rejected by them or in an energy of feeling like no matter what you try to give this Pisces, nothing makes you feel seen and heard in the way you're looking for. Um, they just seem like they have a really big wall up, very strong protective energy they come in with. That could be why you have withdrawal energy, because um, you don't want to do too much, be too much, say too much. Um, uh, I see. I don't. Um, it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you may do be be in this energy in hopes that they'll, you know, ask you what's wrong or say more to you. Um, some of you may be in this energy because you want to see what they'll do when you do nothing. I don't get them doing much. So if there's like a testing energy happening, I think they're going to, this Pisces, quote unquote, I don't think they're going to pass the test. I think they're going to still be in their energy. Uh, let's see. What's going down here? Show me Leo's actions towards Pisces and Pisces' actions towards Leo. Some of you may specifically pull back from a Pisces to see how much they really like you. That's where I get like they're not going to pass. I feel like they're not going to do anything. And it doesn't mean because they don't like you. I just don't feel like they want to... I don't know. Huh. This got me a little stumped. Who else got me stumped? The other, the other reading that got me stumped was um, Sagittarius. All right, let's see. You have justice in your actions. Clarify this for Leo, please. Your actions, Pisces actions towards you. Let's see. You have the Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands. They have the King of Cups. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. And the Eight of Cups. That's why. Okay, so the 
This Pisces, King of Cups, Ace of Cups, Eight of Cups, they have love for you. They do. They actually do want to pursue you or they do want to show you more and be more open. I almost feel like they're contradicting themselves for some reason. Something is causing this Pisces to change their mind and move away. Despite whatever feelings they have for you. It's almost giving like unrequited love for some reason. Like that Doreen Virtue card that says unrequited love. There definitely could be outside influences in some way, shape, or form, whether it be family, friends, um, institutional things, work, whatever the case may be. You have justice, the nine of swords, and the four of wands. So you really want things to be balanced. You want more decisive energy from this Pisces. You don't feel like you can intuitively pick up on what they want it could be stressing you out nine of swords here definitely could be some stress happening well I'd, some of y'all may go to like a party or there's a party what is happening here clarify the actions towards each other fully leo's actions towards pisces and pisces actions towards leo knight of wands three of cups see there's some uh, third energy that's stressing you out. I don't know. Chariot. They have the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Like, see, I don't under see that makes like something happened here. There's something that occurred where this Pisces said they'd rather just pull back here. It might be hurtful to you. But it seems like it was also hurtful to them. It's like uh, very contradictive on their energy. They look extremely flip floppy. One minute they want everything with you and then something shifted and they said, never mind. I'm better off walking away from this and healing. But it seems like it's hurting this person to walk away from you. I don't know if there's like a friend situation here where it's kind of like seeming on the surface of something and then something occurred here. Why are they the three of swords? What the, what the heck was that? The tower. Something has surprised this Pisces to feel like they have to move away from you. Maybe they feel like you have options. Maybe they feel like they want to be open for options. Why is a tower here? Pisces actions towards Leo. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something changed. Six of Cups and Strength. It's like this energy feels like the more they show you love, the more that they'll just get hurt in the end. So it looks like this Pisces was very open to give love, very open and giving and giving and giving. Something happened where they just decided to build more bricks around their heart. But there was a moment here where they had extreme hope in this moving forward. Maybe they're not over their past and they're still healing. Um, high possibility they could have changed their mind. You know, Pisces is a mutable sign or something. I mean, with the tower there, that would be an influence that changed their mind. So there could have been something that changed their mind specifically. But there was definitely a shift in this person's energy because they look like t coming from two different worlds here. That's probably why this reading is stumping me because somebody shifted here drastically. It's probably the Pisces. Uh, maybe it's you if you feel like you're on the other side. Why is the chariot here in Leo's actions? Page of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Six of Wands. I get an attempt to see what will happen from this. But this Pisces looks like they need to stay to themselves now for whatever reason why. Yet they had extreme hope in this situation. They had really strong hope. And then it kind of looks like their hope was just like ripped out from underneath them. Maybe this is totally backwards. But this is the energy that looks like they're walking away. So I have to indicate it there.
And I feel like they're having a hard time because they don't want to. They want to love you. They want to be near you. They want to be giving towards you. But something is creating this person to feel like they can't do too much or they shouldn't do too much. Maybe they're scared of falling in love or uh, it could really be anything. But something definitely shifted the hope that this individual had. And it's almost making you have no hope now. All right, let's see what the outcome is between the two of you. It looks like there's going to be an attempt of action being made. Um, but I get an extreme pullback on this person's end. Spirit, please show me the outcome between Leo and Pisces for November. Doesn't mean that you two are not together or not in each other's energy, but I do get a strong pullback on their side. All right, outcome is the chariot, the six of wands, the four of cups, the nine of wands, and the lovers. Yeah, there's like this really strong brick wall up. Y'all gonna need a bulldozer to get it down because this Pisces built it. Real strong. I see them still giving you some sort of something, though. That's where it's, like, throwing me off a little bit. So maybe you two are in each other's energy somehow. Um, there's a, there is a connection here, but it's like, I feel Pisces is fighting it now. Eight of Wands, definitely. Woo! Oh, shoes in it. All right, there's going to be a talk. It might roll in to no December, though. Because my intention to outcome for these readings are three cards. You got one, two, three, four, five. Um, I feel like, uh, and we're going to actually do Pisces first in December. So we'll actually be able to see what's going on here more. Um, it looks like there's going to be a very specific conversation that comes out between the two of you in December. And I don't know how well it's going to go. Um, <laughs> three of Swords to the Three of Pentacles. You got too many threes here, too. So that's giving me the indication that there's another energy involved through work, family, friends, something. And that could definitely be shifting this. Uh, well, that's what I got. Let's see what you have in the Oracle. One for Leo, one for Pisces. Leo, you have returned. So you do want to come in back into this person's energy or this Pisces is returning back into your energy. Granted, this is on your side. And they have cycles. Yeah, they're definitely shifting the cycle here. I feel that. And they're not showing you why. Because with this card, they have a rose in the back of their back. And they're not showing why they shifted the cycle. This, and, then, and that may be, you have the High Priestess here. You could pick up on the fact that this Pisces is withdrawing something from you. Like they're withholding information from you for some reason. Why? Why do they have cycles here? Cycles here. Awakening. And pause. So they feel the need to wait a minute right now. For uh, whatever reason, they seem worthy. Um, but they will return into your energy, or you are the energy that's wanting to return to them. Let's see what we have with the Oracle here as advice. All right, we have this card, and it says surrender. At time, we must surrender the old before something new enters our lives. Let go, and all will work out. So there could be a possibility that neither of you are fully over your past, or, you know, possibly over the person that you two used to be. Um, cause not like everybody is a perfect saint, right? Them or you could be either. Let's see one more here for Pisces and Leo. Jeez. Well, it ain't none of those cards. So let's see which one it is. Ooh, another card. I don't think I can show this on the internet like that though. So let me cover her parts there. So it's this card and it says emotions are a necessary part of life. They can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. Accord in order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I feel like that's for them. Could be feeling that way for you too. Um, but that's what I got here for y'all Leos who are connecting, interested, curious about a Pisces um, for November. And we will start in reverse zodiac order for December. So Pisces will be the first sign out. Do subscribe and ring the bell if you are interested.
did in readings like this. And that's what I have here for y'all in terms of zodiac signs and the spread that could also be in your two's charts. Strong Pisces, actually. We have Cancer, Virgo, Leo, we have Scorpio as well. So thank you. And I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.